This season for me is all about heart and and humor. Normally we do plastic surgery for people who try to pursue cosmetic changes. They just took it too far, they had a complication. A lot of the season is plastic surgery that went badly for people who have congenital deformities, were accident victims, or had cancer excisions. This is a heavy high risk season. We are pushing the envelope today, but there's no other choice. And one of this season's craziest cases is a doctor who was duped into having black market silicone injected into her cheeks as filler. You need extraordinary measures for an extraordinarily complex problem. It created a gigantic problem and she lost her practice. And Paul had to do some really reconstructive miracle work for that. When you watch this episode too, you know, no matter how great of a job we do, we can't help everyone. And when Dr. Dubrow and Dr. Nassif aren't working on botch cases, they're keeping up with the top plastic surgery trends, so they share their predictions for this year. It's a lot of eye rejuvenation, a lot of eyelid surgery, a lot of upper eyelids. It's a lot more eyes of the new lips. I think people should lean into doing less plastic surgery, lean into a more natural result. And social media is also having an impact on trends. I think in the days previously, they would come in with Angelina Jolie's lips, oh, for example. Yeah. And now because of filters, that they look, they show you a picture of themselves that they put on social media of their lips enlarged through these filtering processes. So rather than showing us celebrities now, they show this, them, you know, filtered versions of themselves. So it's an interesting change.